Guys, a lot of people ask, what, what type of podcasts? Who are you into? Who do you listen to? Who do you get motivated by? Well, on today's vlog, I've got my good friend, Sarah, who happens to be running one of the most popular podcasts on air at the moment. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. And I'm really hoping today you can just push past the fact that Sarah and I did not coordinate our outfits, um, despite the fact that we look like we're on the same team. Sarah Grunberg, everyone. Hello. Um, Sarah has an amazing podcast called The Life of Greatness. All the details are in the below. But before we get to that, how did you get to where you're at? So where did it all start? It all started quite a few years ago when I have, uh, I've been working in the podcast space for a long time. I work uh, at Listener. Yeah. And I was doing radio producing for a while and it was early mornings and it just kind of got to the stage where I was exhausted, I was burnt out. And I thought there must be more to life than this. Mm -hmm. So I started studying the greats. A lot of the people that I came into contact with at the radio station, all the amazing talent I worked around, but I also started to really read a lot of books and work out what made the greats great. Yep. And then I realized it was, you know, it was, it, it was a formula to an extent. And I thought, why wouldn't I make a podcast about this? I ended up moving into the podcasting arm of our business. Why wouldn't I make a podcast about this and then tell people everything that I have learned? And a life of greatness begun like that. And then basically became me interviewing all these amazing people from all walks of life, mm -hmm. from big sports names to entertainers, to music stars, to people in the health and wellness space, yep, yep. humanitarians, New York Times bestselling authors. And we talk about how they've achieved greatness or what they've learned to allow others to achieve greatness in their life as well. Um, I think it's really powerful. Like some of the stuff that we try to do here on the vlog is really just sort of distill it down to, hey, all these people did amazing things over there. But in order to go from here to there, yes. these are the sorts of things you need to do. And I think the podcast, for, for me anyway, I've, I've, uh, I was listening uh, on our drive from Melbourne to Byron and return, um, when you've got that time yes. to just think um, and have nothing but open road in front of you. Um, and what I love is that um, you are, you, you've got the Matthew McConaughey's of the world, you've got Olivia Newton-John, um, I think, your, your mates Hamish and Andy. Yes, they they're show both up, on it. They show up a bit as well. Um, and so really guys, like when you think about how Michael Jordan, who is one of the greatest, if not the greatest athlete of all time, how did he get to where he is? You know, for a long, long time, I've been saying it's just one foot in front of the yes. other. And I think that content like what you're producing can help create clarity. Yeah on that next step. Absolutely, I mean, I just recently interviewed our most recent episodes with Daniel Ricciardo, who's obviously one of the best Formula One race car drivers in the world. I mean, he's 31 years old and he goes through how he achieved what he has, what he has learned, you know, how he mentally prepares before a race and just, you know, there are common threads in all of totally. all of the episodes. So I think it's not like you look at these people like a Daniel Ricciardo or a Matthew McConaughey or Olivia Newton-John or someone like that. It's not unachievable, it is totally achievable. And I think that's the best part of the podcast. We break it down and make you realize that, you know, you hold the power in your own hands. And if you want to change your life to become great, then there are certain things that you can do to achieve that. And uh, that's, that is the aim of the podcast and why so many people are really getting yep. on board and becoming such loyal listeners. Guys, it's, re it's really that simple. It's uh, one foot in front of the other. It's making sure that you're doing the right things day in, day out. I had a conversation with Demi, uh, who's on the happiness team at Hawthorne this morning. She's like, Toby, how, how, how is this all happening? I was like, Demi, dialed in, focused, I absorb the right material, yes. eat the right foods. I am weak for French fries, so don't hold that against me. Um, and, and do the exercises. And sort of before you know it, you look back on 12 months and you realize how far you've come. I think if we all look back on the last 12 months, specifically with COVID, uh, and now where we're at and how we're operating, um, you don't realize how far you've come until you look back. So um, great reflection point. I'm gonna link all of Sarah's uh, Podcast, I was gonna say vo vodcast. Podcast details, life of greatness, all in the description below. 
Guys, it's on iTunes, it's on Spotify. Yeah, it's on Apple Podcasts, it's on Spotify, it is on Listener. Uh, wherever you get your podcast, you can find it, basically. And it's free. So you've, you know, you've, you've got 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. Yeah. Just dial in um, and have a go. It's always, it, it just makes you feel good. I think the whole thing about making this podcast was I wanted to, I wanted people to walk away and feel really good and confident about their life. And that's, that's what I've been able to achieve. So if you want to turn on something that's going to make your day better, then this is the podcast to listen to. Personally endorsed as well. I don't know if that has any val validity <laughs> when you've got Living Newton John, Matthew McConaughey, Hamish and Andy. But uh, guys, I'm about it, which is why I brought Sarah to the vlog today. And I hope you'll be about it too. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Thank you. Thanks.